Hey everyone, Brandon Charlson here, just recording another quick loom for all the crazy AI things that we have going on in this world. Just when you think it can't get any crazier, I've discovered a particularly use case that you guys might benefit from using an AI model called Cohere. If for, for those that haven't heard of it, basically Cohere utilizes what you call a RAG uh, model which basically means retrieval augmented generation and what it's used for is being able to leverage external data points uh, to provide um, more accurate information and reduce hallucination and so I'm going to show you a workflow here where I've toyed around with it comparing the different models such as Claude, Gemini and ChatGPT um, to show you some of the data points that you can use in clay and be able to leverage that data uh, for however you best want to so I got that HTTP API to work um, because as of this recording, it obviously is not implemented or integrated. So that said, I went ahead and just had some fun here. Uh, not to say, you know, with the Chiefs and the Niners, uh, but I did one for Patrick Mahomes and as well as our clay favorites here, Eric, Kareem, Patrick, um, just went ahead and did some experimenting there. So what I did was I set up the API. So what you can do is just go to Cohere, go developers, and you can uh, retrieve your API key there. And then what you need to do is similar to my other workflows is come up with a formula where you can use your variables and be able to um, put in you know things like first name um, any sort of column that you want to implement in there uh, if you need help with that reach out obviously we can help you out there but that said I just went ahead and plugged the name and then the workflow automatically triggered and so what it did was just write a song about uh, these particular folks and then it of course runs through that and so just to show you the workflow here we go to enrich data HTTP API and then what I did is I just saved it as a template. And so obviously I'm not gonna pull up the one with my API key for obvious reasons, uh, but here is the template. And then what you need to do is just pull up your prompt. And so we'll just utilize this one here. And obviously I have the JSON things here. What I recommend you do is just go into the template here. And then once you generate your API key, I would save your API key uh, with it in there as a custom so you don't have to punch it in every time. But then what it'll do is it'll just put the prompt in here and then obviously you run it. And what you can see here is, uh, let's see here, for example, we'll bring up Patrick Mahomes. And then what I did is it basically came up with a song about Patrick Mahomes and obviously it's you know all fun and games there about Eric he um, you know is the online or the outbound PhD so it came up with a pretty cool song for him Eric if you want it let me know and then also if you go into the data points what we can actually see here is some use case data points that might be useful more than ChatGPT or even Clayton. Uh, and I say that too because it actually pulls up citations uh, where you can actually fish through certain areas. Um, let's see here. It had some points of where exactly it, it kind of does a scrape, uh, but you can see how it's using these data points to pull in and then obviously we can merge that into uh, some other scenario that you want to do in your workflow uh, But you can see here that there's different data points that it pulls in from from data sources, right? Um, and citations and so uh, very interesting use case here. Uh, that's unlike a lot of other, you know AI models And so if you uh, need any help with that, let me know. Otherwise happy claim. Thanks